Alright everybody, welcome back to some more Oblivion modded playthrough. It is I, Zylestar, and today we're going to be playing another mod. Uh, so a few things that I wanted to do since uh, last time. Uh, I apologize. Uh, I did say I was Zylestar, right? I guess. I don't know. A little bit off today, but it's fine. Uh, so first things first, we have a new dungeon mod. I also fixed uh, Oblivion XP. Uh, apparently, when trying to load it through Vortex, apparently OBSC didn't load properly, and so it decided to not work for me. Hooray. So, since I loaded it from Steam now instead of uh, Vortex, it now works properly. So I redid the entire arena again, as you'll see through here. I did redid the entire arena yet again. So here's where we ended off. Here's what I did the when I did the arena a second time. So hooray for that. Uh, the one thing that I forgot to show off last time that I meant to show off, and I apologize for not doing it. I, I'm going to tell you guys the reason why I completely forgot about it. I looked at the timer, or stopwatch technically, How but timer, yeah. Uh, see your review, doesn't really matter. Uh... I looked at the I looked at the stopwatch and I thought, oh, there's eight minutes left. Uh, let's do a quick DLC. I completely forgot about that I was gonna show off the arena rewards. So that is my bad. I apologize for that. Did I grab this? I did not. We got two fifteen. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Where are they going to be located? They would be under unique, right? Unique armaments, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, this will be a little bit of a spoiler, but I don't really think it matters. Either way, I was going to grab it anyway. So here is... Where is it? Oh, is it not on here? Did I... Oh, wait. Did I not add the arena ones? Wait. Did I not add the arena ones? Uh oh, did I not add the arena ones? Not like I thought I did. There's no way it's on under generic. That doesn't make any sense. There's no way it would be under generic. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. And I think normal is just like yeah, everything unenchanted. So there's no way they would have been here either. Huh. I thought I did add it in here. Huh. Unless I threw it in here, maybe. No, I didn't. Yeah, I guess I didn't. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll just go to the testing hall and do it. Uh, also, I did add uh, the rake. Uh, yeah, the rake. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, I remember. I know why this is here. Uh, that is a bit off putting, but that is fine. I think I know why this is breaking. This is because I changed it, correct? We're going to say yes for now. Uh, yeah, so I originally had... Uh, so I made the rake, uh, as you can see. Uh... I think I made its power, when I was doing the arena stuff, I made its power 25, double of what the, uh, I think it was called the Heavy Rake was supposed to be. Uh, the Heavy Rake is supposed to have a maximum damage of 12, I changed mine to 25, so just a little bit above. And I made the health 69, 420, haha, <laughs> get it, it's kind of funny. And I decided to change it to just, four, or no, it was 60, yeah, it was 69, 420, and then I changed it to just 420 because the value is 69, it's still funny. And, uh, yeah, I think it still recognizes it, and it doesn't recognize that it should be lower than that. So, we now have a rake that does a lot of damage because it's got too much durability. Hooray. Hey, you. How can I help? Yeah, come with me, please. Uh, we're gonna go to... Actually, I should save it before we go there. So I'm going to go to the testing hall because I've already said I was going to show off the the arena stuff. So this will be the first and only time that we'll go here because I do not 
because I thought I did throw them in there. Maybe it's because all of the arena stuff have the arena tag, and I decided to just skip all that stuff, and maybe the Grey Ages and Shimmer Strike were a part of that tag. It's under here. Uh, all armor and clothing. It's going to lag a little bit. Uh, let's see here. The Grey Ages should be about here. I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to show it off, though. So if you do do the glitch, like I said, it, like there's two different ways of doing it. There's the... Uh, there's the Staff of Worms and the, I think it's called the Skull of Corruption, a uh, way of doing it where you use the Staff of Worms if you kill the combatant and then you use the Staff of Corruption on them. Or you can just do the Staff of Corruption method. Uh, so you keep the arena combatant alive and then you just use this, the Staff of Corruption on them. I think there was a trick with the Great Ages one. I think with for the Great Ages, and I think Shimmer Strike as well. You gotta wait till their like their weapon is destroyed, or is depleted of all their durability, and then you, uh, then you go and attack them, kind of, and then you go and uh, do the whole shenanigans, and then by the time you loot inside their inventory, you'll be able to loot their um, their items, their shield and stuff like that. So there's uh, the Great Ages. Shimmer Strike is in here. That'll be something I'll have to add to unique items, I guess, when I get a chance. I definitely didn't want to come here, but it's fine. I passed Shimmer Strike. Shimmer Strike's over here on the top. Uh, is Shimmer Strike here? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, so it's not really that powerful. It's just Light and Frost. Frost is not really the greatest uh, enchantment in terms of damage. Because it's got two different enemy enemies that are classed to having immunities, which are ghosts and element and the Atronox. Uh, whereas the fire and the shock are only having one immunity, which is their Atronox counterparts. So like fire is fire Atronox is immune to fire, and then shock is immune to shock, and then that sort of thing. Frost has ghosts on top of that too, so that's why Frost is not really as good as anything else in light. I keep trying to figure out a reason for light. I guess it's in case the enemy goes invisible, you still have that light aura on them. Maybe. But for some reason, in my mind, I just don't see light as a very aggressive kind of enchantment, if that makes any sense. But okay, so uh, while I was off screen, I apparently got a level up. I don't know if I got two. I know I got one. So let's go and uh, take a look at that. Hey, did I... Is that the one that I think it is? Yeah. I ended up trying to give... I gave myself the more overpowered one, and then I thought that I might not use it, because it might not give me experience. So I chose not to do it. I gotta wait for it to load. There you go. Perfect. I think I had to, like, move around the menu. I think I remember... I think I remember needing to do that every time. I don't know. Uh, let's increase speed, obviously, because we want to go as fast as possible. We're going to go and uh, increase our luck so we can max out our dagger use. So, though, anytime we use the dagger now, it'll be guaranteed instant kill. Uh, let's see here. So, we need to increase our level of durability in terms of our character so that we can actually start surviving hits now. So, let's go and increase our endurance by factor of three uh for combat skills and such let's see here okay so we can we can repair enchanted equ equipment that's good yeah one thing that i was hoping that i wouldn't have to do is actually like restart this entire menu again that was one of the things that i did not want to do oh Say you wake up full of energy and ideas, and you know, and you know somehow that overnight everything has changed. What a difference a day makes. That is true. Uh, let's go and increase blade by five, maybe. Block by four. Okay, let's see here. So let's. No, because we want to start using the rake. We need blunt. 
Dang, man. Yeah, I want to increase blunt. So we can start using the rake better. Yeah, let's do that. Also, uh, I do have to make sure that I did turn the thing off, though. So I did turn something on uh, while I was doing the arena, just to, because I didn't want to use the armor th throughout the entire thing, in case the level did uh, become a factor. So I will have to figure out if that thing is still on. We'll find out during the mod, though. Uh, we're going to take one pit stop so we can stall stuff, and then we're going to start the mod. Now, this mod is not really considered a quest mod. I mean, it does have a quest, but it is not like, a, like, it's not known for the quest. It's meant for the dungeon itself. I'm surprised the value didn't go up, though. Like, the value didn't just skyrocket because of the value. That's usually, oh, maybe it's because my mercantile's low. That might be why it didn't go up. I don't know. Anyway, uh, anything else I can sell here? No. Oh, I keep forgetting to get the fix for this. There is a fix for... Actually, wait. Can I repair the rakes just so that they're, like it doesn't have its broken status? Nope. That's fine. Uh, let's go fix this just in case. Let's go some of other... Just in case I still have it. I don't think I do, but just in case. Alright. So, the mod that we're... Okay, I thought test didn't follow us. Uh, so, the mod that we're going to be doing is called The Dungeons of Ivalon. This is a fun mod. Uh, with my armor... Uh, oh, that's right. I did speed everything up, so now we're going to have to go through all those things again. Okay. Uh, yeah, so with my armor as it is uh, being, I'll just throw that in there. I'll throw the, the stuff in here too. And the Penta Magic Loop. Actually, I'll just throw everything in here. So for the Frost Crag stuff, I'll throw this stuff in here too. I'll throw that and this stuff in here too. Uh, this. Uh, this mod will get a little bit dark here and there, so I might just use my, uh, my armor in terms of just trying to create light for it. Okay, travel chest. I'm just throw this in here as much as I can. That should be fine. So I'll try and use torches as much as possible, but of course... The rake is a two-hander. Sorry, it's going to cause a little bit of issues, but it should be fine. I might have to resort into using a the, the light scroller. Actually, I don't even know if that one is even going to be good. Because I don't know if I changed it or not. Yes, my love. I don't like the lighting in here. Uh, I need to stay here for a few. Yeah, we're going to be bringing Tess, though. Actually... There is a script to make her be able to equip torches, but I don't know if she has to have the torch in her inventory for it to work. But anyway, we need to go into here. I do not have lockpicks, unfortunately. Do I have lockpicks in here by any chance? Not in that one. Come on. Maybe in here. I have 10 lockpicks. That should be fine. We're going to save it. There we go. So if we get caught, I'm just going to go use armor. Oh. What? Uh... Okay, so good news. Uh, it's not broken. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the armor then, because we do need to go into here, though. I'll use the light spell, why not? We do need to get in here. And as unfortunate as it is... Oops. 
that is not what I meant to do. I meant to use my uh, shuttle lock before I walked in. There you go. Yeah, because we need to get past this guy. And get past it. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know why we had a problem. <laughs> I think I know why we had a problem. The Countess is in here, isn't she? Yeah, that's why. I didn't wait until, like, it was less guarded. Ah, it doesn't matter. So you have the Dungeons of Avalon. You go to here. You open this. Okay, I'll wait till we get inside of the dungeon, maybe, and then do it. You have the Legend of Avalon. Oh, my word. I, I forgot about this font. Oh, word. Uh, the Dungeon of Evelon by Marcus Scribonia, Coral, Third Era, 349. Many ancient his histories and legends have been told throughout Cyrodiil about the glorious time of the First Era, when the young empire... What? Young empire... Th okay, that looks like a B, and that doesn't make any sense to me. Throbe? It is thrown excellently under the governance of Alessia. This is not one of them. You know what? I don't really care. I'm just going to scroll slowly. <laughs> oh, it's not that long, actually. Okay, maybe I will. Oh, the font is so bad, though. I'll just take it. So here's, here's what I mean, though. Here's, like, the quest kind of thing. I came across an old book that is about the legendary Castle Ivalon. Castle? That was a... Fortress. Anyway. And his alleged dungeons... And his alleged dungeons beneath the fortress. Eh? Okay. Whatever. Uh, it could pay off to search for these dungeons if there is any truth in this legend. Marcus Scribonia, the writer of the book, probably would be the best contact person on the search. He should have already passed away decades ago, but there are... There may be. There are descendants. And there is character. I know exactly where to go. Meanwhile, we're using Shadow Walk. And... How can I help? Uh, let's move out. I'll just bring Tess along. I don't think Tess can cause me to be detected. But I just didn't want her to, like, cause any issues, though. Yeah, because I can't fast travel while under health damage. So after you get that, we have to hit to Coral, because if you do